Welcome. Today we have square root of 6 plus square root of 27. We are asked to solve this challenge. So I have solution. To solve this kind of square root is easy and straightforward. So follow me to the end of this video so that you also will know how to solve this kind of square root to the barest minimum. I have square root of 6 plus square root of 27. So I will rewrite 27 as 9 times 3. Therefore, I have square root of 6 plus square root of 9 times 3. And don't forget, in mathematics, if you have square root of a dot b, you can simply rewrite it as square root of a dot square root of b. So, once you understand it up to this stage, it's easy and straightforward. Let's just move on. After that, on rewriting 9 and 3 separately, I now have square root of 6 plus square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 3. So from there, I have square root of 6 plus, I can simply change 9 to 3 times 3. So therefore, I have square root of 6 plus square root of 3 times 3 multiplied by square root of 3. After that, this now gives us square root of 6 plus square root of 3 times 3 simply means 3. So therefore, I have square root of 6 plus 3 times square root of 3. And don't forget, if you have square root of x times x, it simply means x. That is, if you have square root of 10 times 10, it simply shows that the answer will be 10. Therefore, I want to apply one constant, that is 1, into my square root so that to make it easy and straightforward for me to solve. And don't forget, 1 is equal to 2 divided by 2. So we are still doing the same thing because any number multiplied by 1 will simply give you that number. Therefore, I have square root of 2 divided by 2 into bracket 6 plus 3 square root of 3. I will use the 2 to open the numerator. Therefore, I will be having 2 times 6. So that will give me 12 and 2 times 3 square root of 3 will give me 2 dot 3 square root of 3 as well. Just follow me to the end of this video. You will see how I did the square root to the barest minimum. So therefore, I have square root of 12 plus 2 times 3 square root of 3. Everything divided by 2. After this, so I can simply split that 12 to 3 and 9 so that I will be able to find my way around the square root. So I have 9 plus 3 plus 2 times 3 square root of 3, everything divided by 2. So on getting to this stage, I can simply write 9 in form of index. That is, I will have 3 squared. That is, 3 raised to power 2. It simply says the same thing as 9. So plus 3, plus 2, 3 square root of 3, everything divided by 2. Now, after this step, I have square root of 3 square as 9 plus 3 plus 2 times 3 square root of 3. So from here, I can simply move on by saying 3 square plus square root of 3 square. I will later explain this in my next line. So plus 2 times 3 times square root of 3, everything divided by 2. If we look at this critically, I have square root of 2 squared. So if you have any constant, let's say for instance, you have square root of x squared. The square will cancel the square root and the answer will be x. So referring to the above calculation. So from here, I can simply move on 
by saying if you have a square plus two a b square so plus two a b this simply gives us a square plus b square because if you expand a square plus b square it will give you a square plus two b square plus two a b to be equal to a b everything square so if you apply this principle that is this formula to the above calculation you can simply see that a represents 3 and b represents the square root of 3. so on getting to this stage if you have a raised to power x divided by b raised to power x you can simply factorize out the power from a and b and you'll be having a divided by b everything raised to power x so let's now apply this to what we have inside our square root after applying that now we are having 3 plus square root of 3 everything divided by square root of 2 everything squared so that we'll be able to eliminate the square root so after this we now have the square root we count the square root now have 3 plus square root of 3 everything divided by square root of 2 now let's rationalize the sort by doing multiply by square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 this you now give you if you expand square root of 2 times 3 that's 3 square root of 2 plus square root of 3 times square root of 2 everything divided by square root of 2 times square root of 2 so once you understand it up to the stage it's easy and straightforward we now have 3 root 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 i've explained this earlier everything divided by square root of 2 times 2 and don't forget this will simply give us 3 square root of 2 plus square root of 3 times 2 that's 6 everything divided by square root of 4 and that's 2 now after this, we will now have square root of 6 plus square root of 27. That will give us 3 square root of 2 plus square root of 6. Everything divided by.